Hi, it's Dr. Amy with Amethyst Wellness. I'm here with Jerry Cooper Smith, ARMP. We're going to talk to you today about peptides. I'm going to share our screen here. Jerry, tell us about peptides. Well, peptides are uh, chemical messengers in the body that are uh, made up of amino acids, and they are actually very simple chains of amino acids that are very specific for particular receptor sites. Today, we're going to talk about peptides that are specifically used for weight loss. As I said before, peptides are amino acids. They are connected together in a specific order to do a specific job. This is how the body naturally signals and causes uh, things to happen. Uh, so it's nothing that's new to the body and the body knows how to eliminate these amino acids very, very easily. They're designed to have specific set, uh, effects on specific receptors and then quickly be eliminated. As I just said, peptides that we offer mimic the actual peptides that your bodies that, that you have in your body naturally. Uh, it's for this reason that the body knows how to break it down. Everything I just said, it's safer and cleaner than medications in most cases. So starting off, we have CJC1295 and Ipamorella. Now, this is the most studied uh, and uh, uh, tried and tested uh, uh, peptide and uh, very, very safe. It's a combination of a GRH, a GHRH and a GHRP, which is growth hormone, uh, receptor hormone and a growth hormone receptor peptide. It works on two separate portions of the anterior pituitary, that's the front of the pituitary gland and gets it to excrete growth hormone. This growth hormone works on the liver and gets the liver to put out insulin growth factor one. This allows for increased muscle mass and fat burning. And that's basically, that's the pathophysiology behind how uh, uh, CJC1295 and ipamorelin work. Yeah. And we've both used this product and, and yeah, and it's quite effective. Absolutely. Now, the neat thing about peptides is since it's natural, it's uh, working slower than some other synthetic things, but the, uh, you start to notice a change over a period of time and it enhances other things that you do safely, like uh, exercise and diet. It's a good tool to go along with those things. Also our hormone therapies that we use. Again, just stating very well tolerated, very well researched. It can also do other things outside of causing you to build lean muscle and burn fat. It improves deep wave sleep. And you notice this pretty quickly, like in about the first week after taking uh, CJC, you start to realize that, hey, you know, I can, I can go to sleep now. And I've heard from a lot of people that it can really, really help with that. But some other things it can do is it helps with the immune response, modulating the immune response, which is very, very important now when we're talking about things like COVID right. and overreaction of the immune system. CJC and ipamorelin can help with that and also a topic we've discussed before, cellular senescence can also be improved. And what that is, just for you who didn't see our previous uh, webinars, cellular senescence, when a cell, when there's something wrong, it shuts down, it stops its function, it's called a zombie cell. And what happens with these zombie cells is they send out things called cytokines. These are messengers, that can be pro-inflammatory to cells that surround this zombie cell. So one thing CJC and ipamorelin helps with is it can help identify these zombie cells to the immune system and uh, identify them for elimination. Fascinating. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so uh, 
basically CJC and Morellin goes very, very well with our testosterone uh, therapy for uh, weight loss, for building muscle mass, for having increased energy, for improving sleep. It's uh, recommended to be used together with our nutrition therapies, such as our IV nutrition therapies that we use. They all go hand in hand, again, working on combating cellular senescence, but also improving things like ATP production and getting rid of oxidative damage. So it's a powerful overall tool uh, along with, of course, diet, exercise, and a good meditative practice. I think that's a good point too. It's, you know, if you want good results from your therapies, whichever therapy you choose, you've got to really clean up your diet and move your body. Um, and then the, these are tools to help you achieve your goals. Right, right. None of the things that, that we do are standalone. They all work together. Naturally, a client can say, okay, I want to start with this or I want to start with that. And one thing may work better for a particular individual. But really, when you have to take into account things like diet, exercise, those should be the cornerstone of any good health program. And then I'll add in, uh, because of my, my bias, a good meditative program to help you mentally and emotionally come back to center. Stress management, Absolutely. very important, especially right now. Right, right. And so some things you'll notice with CJC uh, that's kind of particular to CJC is uh, these are injected. They're injected subcutaneously. And uh, the first thing you'll notice is a little itching at the injection site, but that's quickly followed up by a comfortable flush in the face. Not like niacin or something like that, but it's uh, very soothing warm. warmth yeah. in the face. And then that's followed by a feeling of, you know, I think I could go to sleep. And so these are the things that you notice initially, but what's really cool also is after the first few weeks, you start to see an improvement in your skin. And we always ask for, we say that, okay, if you're looking for a change in weight and body morphology, that comes at about three months, but along the way you do notice uh, uh, morphological changes uh, when you when you look in the mirror. So CJC and ipamorelin does have to be timed because you want to avoid uh, insulin spikes. So it's administered on an empty stomach about 90 minutes after a meal is sufficient. Uh, since it improves deep wave sleep uh, before bedtime is recommended, but there are alternative administration uh, schedules uh, depending upon the individual and if you want to time it with your workouts. Uh, again, I told you it's a really, really tiny needle. Uh, it's injected five out of seven days in a row with a break for two days to give the receptors on the anterior pituitary just a little bit of a break. And uh, you'll notice uh, some changes along the way. That's basically what this slide is saying. Although they say, okay, it takes three months for you really to see good weight loss and to be able to evaluate, you do see changes along the way. And that's what's almost down the line everybody uh, mentions. So next we have, uh, we want to talk about some others. Uh, Tessamorelin is a medication that's uh, started as Agrifta is the trade name. And uh, it works also on the anterior pituitary, same methodology, but it's stronger than CJC and ibamorelin. It was initially uh, used for different disease processes where you would have too much weight pressing in on organs. And that's why you'll see that Agrifta is actually a medication that's used in these conditions. And uh, so tessamorelin is a compounded form of Agrifta. You'll see a change, they're claiming, in about four to six weeks of use. So whereas CJC and Ipamorelin, they're asking for three months of use. This one in about four to six weeks, you'll start to notice those morphological changes. It's faster than CJC and Ipamorelin. So before we move on um, with the Tessamorelin, what are the side effects of that? Well, with all of these, there really aren't a lot of side effects uh, to, to, to speak about. 
Uh, you naturally, you want, if with any of these uh, uh, medications, there's always, and I say medications, they're, they're peptides, not medications. But with any of these things, you want to make sure that there's not an active cancer. Uh, that's something because could this encourage growth of, of a cancer if you had one lurking? That's a possibility. There's, the science is still out on that. CJC has been very well researched and it hasn't really shown to have any connection with any underlying cancers. Tessa Morellin, as I said, is approved by the FDA. And so uh, you, you, it's a medication that's actually being used out there. But if I had somebody with type one diabetes or with uh, any type of cancer, I would not use we this something therapy. We would yeah. do something different. Okay. Okay. And that brings us to our next slide. So we talked about the folks who want to lose weight, but now we have another group of people who want to put on muscle. MK677 is an oral, uh, and this one is a small molecule medication, which is slightly different than a peptide, but this one, it, it's a GHRP, just like the ipamorelin portion of CJC and ipamorelin, but it's stronger than ipamorelin and brings the IGF-1 from the liver up faster and stronger, stronger response. It also works on your ghrelin receptors. So although this medication will put on muscle and a lot of the weightlifters use it for their cutting phase when they want to increase uh, the definition of their musculature. Uh, so hunger, is a real side effect initially for MK677, which is really the only reason I wouldn't recommend it for somebody who's saying, well, I want to lose weight. This would be for somebody who says, I want to put on muscle mass and I want to cut in that phase. Okay. And then melanotan too, for folks, this is one that's interesting. It does a number of unique uh, things. Uh, this works on your melanocytes, uh, the melanotan uh, receptors in the hypothalamus, which a lot of your weight loss medications also that are traditional work on these receptors in the hypothalamus. So what this does is it can decrease appetite, but it can also cause you to tan. Isn't that weird? And, and in addition, there's also, it can increase libido too, which is another uh, side effect with the, with the, with or benefit. Yeah of the melanotan uh, too. So these are very interesting for folks who have an appetite and that's one of the biggest stumbling blocks to weight loss for them. We can discuss melanotan too. Great. Okay, and then we have some other, we start to move into the more traditional ones, the GLP-1s, liraglutide, exenatide. These are actually used right now as anti-diabetic uh, medications. Uh, they improve insulin resistance, they lower insulin levels, they even have some positive effects in Parkinson's disease. Uh, these decrease appetite and have a lot of anti-inflammatory properties. Okay, and then we come to thymosin alpha-1. When we were talking about cellular senescence, a lot of weight loss has to do with inflammation in the body. For people who are significantly overweight, before you go for any other peptides or any other me medications, handling that, handling that cellular senescence can be very, very effective. Thymosin alpha-1 is sometimes the first peptide that we go for before we attempt any others. It's an immune modulator. Now that we're talking once again uh, about COVID, it selects against inflammatory cytokines in favor of more uh, 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 regular response from the immune system. It can stop viral replication. It has what are known as pleiotrophic effects on the immune system. It works on a number of different ways, but also helps the immune system to identify those cells, those zombie cells that are in senescence and affecting surrounding cells. Uh, strong evidence that uh, it's effective part of immunotherapy for many types of cancers also. We have a lot of clients using this right now um, for protection to increase their immune response. Um, and it's working pretty well. Yeah, absolutely. 
And CLANC is a similar idea, but for those of you who don't want to inject anything, this one is inhaled. Uh, it's an effective modulator of the immune system. It's used right now in Russia. It's approved for, as an anxiolytic uh, in place of things, more dangerous medications such as Valium, et cetera. It helps with sleep. It helps improve cognition and uh, can help uh, with any sort of anxieties. It's very effective and safe. Great. Okay, and what so else can we use Pepsi for? <laughs> we can use it for, for a lot of things. And the reason, again, is these are amino acids that do different things in the body, and it's how those amino acids are linked together. Uh, they imitate the chemical messengers that your body naturally has. So you can do things like improve uh, skin healing, uh, wound healing, etc. This is used by a lot of athletes. But caution if you are uh, uh, an Olympic athlete in their testing, this can be considered doping. For the rest of us, uh, we'll user okay. will. Yeah. yeah, we'll be fine. But things like benefits in Parkinson's disease, improving memory and cognition. It helps with neuropathic pain. There are peptides that can help with weight loss. They help speed healing. A lot of the orthopedic surgeons have tapped into this. A lot of the sports medicine uh, doctors have tapped into this too, to help athletes to heal faster and to grow muscle and to perform better. There's a lot of information about anti-aging also, as we've been talking about with senes senescence and autophagy, which are two terms that, that is big in the anti-aging community. Great. More information, call us at Amethyst Wellness, 386-283-4180. And you, know, you can call us, come in, talk with Jerry one-on-one. -on -one. He can really give you more information um, that's catered just for you and your, your goals. Thanks for joining us today. And remember, our website, www.amethystwellness.com. See you there. Take care.